Just sit right back and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this Midwestern port aboard this mighty ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour with all their personal possessions and a big barrel of money and Halloween costumes and, and Howl's insomniac pills and their own personal electric generator and everything you can think of. <laughs> The weather started getting rough, the mighty ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be lost. The ship's aground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle. With Fanagan, the skipper too, the millionaire and his wife, the movie star, the professor and... Skipper, down at the lagoon, there's a spaceship, and a spaceman, and a spacewoman, and the spaceship goes, woo, 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 woo. You've been out in the sun too long, little buddy. <laughs> we could get the aliens to take us back to civilization. I think I could persuade them if I knew their pride. Uh, Mr. Hal, money means nothing to them. Don't say that in front of my lovey. Justin, dear, what does one wear on a flying saucer? Oh, darling, your pink chiffon fits any occasion. <laughs> Gotta think of another way. You know, I think the space woman likes you, Professor. <laughs> well, sir, we hear the space woman has a crush on you. You know, if you could get her to fall in love with you, maybe they'd take us off the island. Girls, I know nothing of romance. But, Professor, didn't you ever take a girl to a drive-in movie? Yes, once, but the fidelity of the speakers and the curvature of the screen made it impossible to enjoy the picture. I love you madly. This first burning kiss is but the beginning. What? Kiss? Well, Fanagan, they're gone, thanks to you. Gee, Skipper, all I said was there's a million more like us back home. Who wants to go first? Uh, here, Skipper. Thanks, Fanny. They're long castaways. They're here for a long, long time. They'll have to make the best of things. It's an uphill climb. The first mate and his skipper, too, will do their very best to make the island comfortable on the tropic island mess. No phone, no light, no motor car, not a single luxury. Like Robinson Crusoe, it's primitive as can be. So join us here each week, my friends. You're sure to get a smile from seven stranded castaways here on Fennigan's Isle. <laughs> 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 <laughs>